sunwheelmagic.com. If you remember in my previous video I talked about the Paleolithic continuity paradigm. If you haven't watched that, go back and watch that. But very briefly, the Paleolithic continuity paradigm uh, says that um, contrary to what we've been taught, the Indo-European language and religion has its genesis at least 50 to 60,000 years ago in Paleolithic Africa with the first modern humans that migrated out of Africa into the Northern Hemisphere. Now when I read this I was very excited about it, um, but I realized after I was doing some more research i had been finding more and more clues to the veracity of this paradigm. And to give you an example, um, I uh, trained with a uh, African shaman. His name was Baba Ayo Adayemi. He's an Ifa priest. Uh, that's the animist religion of the Yoruba people of West Africa. And he taught me uh, African uh, Ifa drumming. But he also taught me some songs. And one of the songs he taught me was called Awo. And I'll just give you briefly how it goes. It goes Awo 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 now, awo in the Yoruba language can mean many different things. It can mean grandparent, grandmother, grandfather. It can mean very close friend. It can mean uh, magical power. It can mean a deity. It uh, also has this general meaning of unexplainable depth of spiritual power. It's the same kind of understanding that we have in English, and I believe it comes from the same word. When we look at something that is just amazing, we make uh, one of two sounds. We either go, whoa, or we go, wow. It's my belief that this it come, goes all the way back to that uh, time 50, 60,000 years ago or earlier. Now, as it turned out, I was doing some research into the Proto-Germanic languages. Uh, we speak, if you're listening to me, you speak English, you speak a Germanic language. Well, in the Proto-Germanic languages, there was a word for grandparent, which was Iwa Haimaz. And that shocked me. I said, that looks almost like Awo in the Yoruba language. Then I did some more research and I looked into the Indo-European word for grandparent is, you guessed it, Awo. I mean, it's not even changed. It's the exact word, awo. We still have it today in uh, Spanish. We say abuelo or abuela. And you use the, um, the significator at the end of the o or the a to let you know whether it's masculine or feminine, but the root is the same, awo, abuela. In Latin, the v is often uh, pronounced as a w. So it's the same word, awo. That blew me away. That means that at some point in our distant history, when the first modern humans were migrating out of East Africa up into the Northern Hemisphere, they got into North East Africa. And then at one point, one tribe split off and migrated West and eventually ended up in West Africa, and we know them today as the Yoruba tribe. Another tribe continued to travel North. They went up into the Northern Hemisphere. They split off into a bunch of different directions and became what we know now as the Indo-Europeans. This is our ethnic, spiritual ancestry, is the basis for our spiritual shamanic connection to the entire universe. So I invite you to come onto the website sunwheelmagic.com, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and like us on Facebook. Thanks for your time. Mm-hmm.